Greetings. Elder Blacklight. This is going to be in three parts probably, maybe not, but we'll see. Now, these, these brothers and sisters probably be mad at me. But I'm putting my, I'm including myself in this also. You see here we got a group of cockazoids with these dogs and this brother up a tree. It's another scene from Django Unchained. The brother at the tree is a Mandingo fighter who don't want to fight no more for the plantation. And so he ran away and he got these slavers, overseers, to track him down with these dogs, vicious dogs. Fast forward to today, that's where the black man is at today. The reason why the five percenters, and that includes the Moors, the Moors Americans, the different segments of the Nation of Islam, the different segments of the Nation of Gods and Earth, or the five percent nation, the Sunni Muslims, the Shiite, the Orthodox Muslims that's living here in America. You're on the plantation. You're paying tribute to the Caucasoid. The devil got us up a tree, including myself, because I'm he's still milking me out my time and the little fiat money that he gives me to pay back to him. If you rent a building, lease a building, buy a building to hold your meetings in, you got to pay taxes on that. You're not reaping the benefits of it, even though people contribute that fiat money to you, you give it right back to him. If you work in any corporation or any businesses and it's not yours, you still gotta pay and if it is yours, you still got to pay him a portion of your earnings. You got to fill out a, a tax form for yourself and the employees. So, you're not living mathematics. You just begin to wake up. You're still up a tree. The dogs are still going to tear you up. Because you're not willingly <clears throat> wanting to do a dirty work. You're not willingly wanting to fight. They come after you for taxes. You still got to pay a light bill, heating bill, transportation bill. You got to pay the ride on his roads. Instead of y'all looking at the differences, I'm talking about all y'all 
Muslims, God and Earth, Moors, so that you come together, joining forces. Y'all want to know who's the, who's the wisest and who's under who got the most understanding or the comprehension instead of pulling your resources together. See, because look, Elijah was a messenger of Master Farah Muhammad that brought the understanding. Noble Greek, Noble Drew Ali, he brought some of it. Marcus Garvey brought some of it. But yet still Marcus Garvey called himself a Christian. Uh, but he was taught by Daus Ali, a Muslim. And uh, Master Farad came and brought you 76 trillion years worth of uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. But y'all fighting over that. Is he still alive? Well, we never seen him die. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that he would live to be 400 years. And I don't think it's quite up yet, but we can't prove that he's dead. We can't prove that he's still alive. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad told his brother John Muhammad, who was my uh, mentor, that he's getting ready to go. And Supreme Minister John Muhammad seen him die. Even though he got a bad reputation with, among some of them also, they fighting each other. So we're not living out what we say. See, y'all say, well, I'm not, a, I'm not a Muslim. All Muslim means to, fight, to follow the laws, divine laws that were set forth. You know, that's supreme order. That's supreme order, you know, the moon going around the earth, the earth going around the sun, the sun going around, or linking up to the serious sun. Been doing that for millions of years. It follows the orders. Was set forth by the Creator. Now we're gonna be continue this on. But remember, when you separate, you separate in the mind first. Then you gotta separate from Allah, I mean from uh, the devil. You can't follow Allah and the devil too. I'm black light, spreading the truth, passing the might. Truth should be told and not sold. Stay tuned for the next one. Like, subscribe, share. Assalamu alaikum.